When I get asked, Paul, what do you do? My answer is very simple. I solve sales problems, period. Paul speaking. Yes, I can solve your sales problem. You know where my office is at the spaces, right? I'll see you there soon. I'm going to have my coffee now. Bye. Earning business. Going out there and grabbing the right attention with effective engagement, earning the relationship, producing more sales, increasing cash flow, multiplying annual revenue, producing higher profit margins and a huge return on your investment capital. So this is the big picture. For the second one is I call the body. Who wants to guess what the body is? Complicated um, I guess what you're calling for the purpose. Okay. And I did it on that phone call. I did all the I did the OBC and I'm gonna to explain to you how I did it. What do you think? So like, what do you think the body is? Purpose. Purpose. It's not in your notes because I didn't give it to you. What do you think, Mark? It's not a right or wrong, right? I think the rebuttal parts to the body of the script. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's a part of it. You guys are right. So here's what it is. What the body is supposed to do, you went from perceived value, now you're in the body. It's like the movie. You got the opening of the movie. You got hooked. They better make sure I'm feeling good in the middle of this movie because I'm going to be pissed, right? Right? So in the body, Same persistence. In the body, this is what's supposed to accomplish intrinsic value, which means you went from perceived value, they saw value in you, now they're letting you go into the body, and now your value just went up. Intrinsic. Okay? The number one thing that the body does is storytelling. That is the key. You have to master storytelling in your style, in your way, with your personality. What Mark is, Mark is. What Miss Jody is, is. What Celeste is, is. What I am, I am. That's the way we tell stories. I take a humor approach or a way out nothing so you know if I'm goofy. Like face to face versus eyeball to eyeball right. or whatever. Right. So storytelling is the most valuable commodity you can master. Super Bowl Sunday, you got all these, that's storytelling. They get you to buy shit you don't need, right? Yeah. But this, how do you tell a story? You tell all the facts, all the objections, all the rebuttals, everything that's valuable and important, you put it in a story format. If you could tell a powerful story, you're, in, you're increasing your value. Why? Because they're engaged. Okay? Number two, what is it supposed to do? It's supposed to increase your value as an agent. Well, how do you do that? I understand how you feel. I felt the same way. This is what I found out, right? I eat, I breathe, live this, right? But what I focus on is solving self solution, right? Like selling your home, building long term population, not wasting your time. All that increases your value. All of it. Every every tool you use is either gonna give, increase your value or it's gonna throw it. Depending on how you say it, when you say it. Okay? Now here's the biggest part. So, like the movie, you got the introduction of the movie, now you're excited. And it transitions to the body. What if the rest of the hour movie sucks? Then the value of the movie just went down because you gave your emotions and you were disappointed. There's no climax there, right? Now, here's the third thing. 
90% in my experience close the deal and destroy it. Because part of the story is asking questions, right? Whether, you know, how many square footages you have, you know, how many bedrooms, do you want financing, blah, all that is part of the storytelling. That's, that's, and this is where 90%, by this time, you will know if you have a real legitimate sale, appointment, contract, whatever. My experience is 90% of you tell the story right, and they fall in love with Mark, and what Mark could bring to them, because even if Mark or Celeste or Miss Jody, you have the best strategy available, right? But if they don't buy into you personally, that doesn't mean nothing to them. What's the first thing I have? Uh, uh, what does he try? I don't know. <laughs> Did you even hear? That, I asked uh, the guy that sold my house on Friday on when I called Monday. The one that right, right, Mark? Yeah. He said, uh, that they had just made the decision to go with it. He talked about it when the list would be on Monday when they got the buyer. That was a big vote. He said that one of the things that he and Sally liked was that I told him, for me, it's not about the money. Look at me. I'm not a young chick. I've been in business 33 years, but I'm going to work till Jesus comes. Right. I love what I do. Right. So he said he did it 100%. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna get to hear you call mouth back, right? Sure. And, and um, I'm curious as what answer are you gonna give when he says what what's your commission? Well, I'm going to charge eight, but I'll do it for you six. And if I listen to sell it both, I'll reduce the commission to five. But you're gonna do that when you meet with them, right? Yes. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah, you want to do that when you talk about that when we meet. I have paperwork. Okay. So now the final thing is this. Okay. You get and you guys meet. I'm sorry. You get prospect. Prospect to to buy into relationship. Sorry. You get the prospect to buy into the relationship. So when you send an email of the seller's agreement after you did all that and they receive it, they bought into the relationship. If they meet with you an appointment, that means they bought into the relationship. I've had them tell me no when I go paperwork. And one of the reasons they will tell you that is because they think you ask too many questions. Like, can you tell me how many improvements you've done to it in the last two or three years? I should know that would increase the value. And he said, yeah, then you're going to walk permit. I didn't permit. So they, you find out that you put them in a bad spot. Right, because they did something on it. That is right. And so they won't let you do it because they're afraid you'll turn them in for a long okay. Good. Very so, so the opening is the most important important right the body is the most valuable if you if you look at it in those two ways because you can't get to the value unless you get to the important part right <laughs> they just can't do that so this is this is it now